Hello guys and welcome to Photoshop tutorial for beginners. In this lesson you will learn how to work with panels in Photoshop. Panels are located at the right hand side of the screen. As you can see we have color, adjustments and layers. There are other panels beside these panels that you can bring them forward by just clicking on them. You can easily reposition one panel by clicking and dragging it. If you don't need a panel, you can click and drag it out of the panels area. If you want it, you can close it or place it somewhere else. If I click on this panel and drag it down and place it between two sets of panels, you can see that this panel has its own grouping of panels. I can close this panel by clicking and dragging out and then I click on close button. To bring it back, I simply go to window menu and click on channels. Let me place it back inside the group of panels. There is another way to close a panel or a group of panels. If you right click on a panel or a group of panels, you can either close one panel or you can close all of them at once. You can bring them back from window menu. Or if you wanted to reset all your changes, you can go to under the window menu, workspace, then reset essentials. In order to bring a new panel, you can do it from window menu. To bring the info panel, for example, I click on window menu and click on info. As you can see, the info panel is nested here. To collapse it, I simply click on these arrows. As you see, these are shown as icons and in order to expand them, I simply click on these two arrows. And to collapse them, I click on arrows again. And if I position my mouse on top of these icons, we get a tooltip showing what panel that is. I can make this narrow panel bigger by clicking and dragging to the left. And to bring it back, I click and drag it back to the right. If you wanted to quickly hide all panels from the screen, you can press the tab key on your keyboard. And to bring them back, press tab again. And if you only needed to hide the panels in the right hand side, press shift and tap key together. While the panels are hidden, if you position your mouse over to the right, the panels will pop up. And when you move your mouse out of the panels area, they will automatically disappear again. To bring them back, press shift and tap key. If you just want to minimize a panel and collapse its content, double click on the name of a panel. To bring them back, double click on its name again. Each panel has additional options and they are located under the flyout menu to the right hand corner. By clicking on these flyouts, you can reach additional options which are related to each and specific panel. Sometimes you may need to have your own panels and may not need some of these panels. For example, I don't need learn panel, so I drag it out and close it. I close the libraries panel the same way by dragging and closing it. I don't work with channels either, so in this time I'm gonna right click on its name and click on close. I want the paths panel to be shown beside the adjustments panel. So I click on paths and drag it and place it right beside the adjustment panel. There are other panels that are not visible, but I need them to be visible in my custom workspace. In this case, I need to bring the action panel. I want to move the info panel and place it beside the layer panel. I like to put the history beside the layers panel as well. And the properties panel and the adjustment panel. Now, in order to save my changes as a workspace, I go to window menu and click on workspace and then new workspace. I can do from here as well. 
I name it my favorite panels and then click on save. You can even save your custom shortcuts and arrangements of toolbars and menus. Now if I click on the small window above the panels my workspace has been saved. To change the workspace choose from the list. In this case I choose essentials back. Nothing happens until I click on reset to essentials. When I click on reset to essentials everything rearranges as default. To go back to your custom workspace, go to window menu and from workspace choose your custom workspace. If you need to delete a specific workspace, you can do it from the window menu, workspace and then delete workspace. From the pop-up window choose the workspace that you no longer need it and click on delete. Remember that you cannot delete the active workspace. If you are sure to remove it, click yes. In addition, if you want to change the appearance of the screen, for example, if you want to make it lighter or darker, right click on panels and click on interface options. I like the darker color, so I choose the darker theme and click OK to apply changes. Now, as you see, it looks much better. I hope this video was helpful. See you in the next movie. Bye.